hi beautiful people welcome to my channel god bless you How have you been oh great this is blessing the Hiaguina tv it's a great channel full of god's words prayers prophecies word of knowledge here we have the whole of the bible on audio playlist subscribe touch your bell stay with us you are watching from facebook follow us god bless you today we're going to be looking at some scriptures and asking you a question which way do you want to go hallelujah which way do you want to go how do you know where you'll be after this life let's go to the book of luke 16 i read from 19 there was a certain rich man which was clothed in purple and fine linen and fed sumptuously every day and there was a certain beggar named Lazarus, which was laid at his gate full of sores and desiring to be fed with the crumbs which fell from the rich man's table. Moreover, the dust came and licked his sores. And it came to pass that the beggar died and was carried by the angels into Abraham's bosom. The rich man also died and was buried. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, be in Thomas, and see Abraham afar off, and Lazarus in, the, in his bosom. And he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me, and send Lazarus, that he may dip the tip of his finger in water, and cool my tongue, for I am tormented in flame. Hmm, what an irony. Now, this one, this rich man that Abraham, the the Oh, Lazarus used to go to eat the crumbs that fell from his table. He's not the one asking Abraham to tell Lazarus to please just dip hand in water and put it in his tongue. The table, that's a, the table turned around. Wow. Mm. What a thing happening here. 25. But Abraham said, Son, remember that thou in the life in thy lifetime receivers their good things and likewise Lazarus evil things but now he is comforted and thou art tormented and beside all this between us and you there is a great gulf feast between them between hell and heaven a great gulf feast so that they which would pass through ends to you cannot nobody can come there from heaven neither can they pass to us that would come from thence. So I will not make this video too long. Let's look at this scripture. Praise God. Hallelujah. A man that was so rich on earth. That Lazarus had to even eat the crumbs that fell from his table. Now he's the one begging Lazarus for a tip of water. Which is not even possible. It was possible on earth for Lazarus to eat the crumbs from his table. But after, the, after this life... Abraham said, there's a big gulf between us. It's not possible for anyone to even help you. Even though I'm the one that used to pay the person school fees, feed the person. If you don't know Jesus Christ, you go to hell. There's nobody can help you. What a thing. Today, as I read this scripture, ask yourself, what kind of life am I living? Will I be in heaven or will I be in hell? That's the purpose I read this, uh, of, my, of me reading the scriptures. Ask yourself. I want you to see that life is not all about here alone. Not all about here alone. So you may be here right now, living anyhow, offending God. God is giving you a long rope. Repent, my son. Repent, repent. Repent, repent, repent. But you say, no, I want to enjoy my life. You're drinking alcohol, womanizing, doing all sorts. or oh, abomination of all sorts. I very think today. Don't be like that rich man. That's the purpose I came here. I didn't come to condemn you. I only want you to have a rethink and give your life to Jesus Christ. So you will see enjoy on earth here. And you also enjoy in heaven. For God is not against enjoyment. He only wants a pure heart. He only wants one that will believe in his son and be saved by grace. And walk in the righteousness of the Lord Jesus Christ. That's what he wants. It's not against enjoyment. If you give your life to Christ, you'll still be rich. You'll still enjoy. So which do you want? You want to enjoy here and go and suffer in a place nobody can help you? In a place nobody can even help you? There'll be no cross edge. If you read further, you see where the man was not asking, Oh, please, Abraham, let me go to the earth and tell my relatives to, to, to be everywhere, to live right, so they not come here. Abraham said, it's too late. We have people over there that are preaching there. They will hear, if they don't have that people, forget it, forget it. Are you hearing right now from the preachers? From this video right now, are you hearing God talking to you? 
If you are that person living a wayward life, you don't believe in God, you don't receive Him. Let me tell you, Christ is real. God is real. If God is not real, who made the earth? The earth came by itself. Who made the moon? Who made the sun? Who made man? They, they came by themselves. It's not possible. It's not possible. God made everything. That's it. That maker of everything. He is called God. He is real. And a place in heaven where he is, is also real. I hear my voice right now. Harden not your heart. Harden not your heart. Don't go and suffer in a place nobody can help you. Whatever they want to pay their school fees here on earth, they cannot help you. Don't go there. It's not for 10 years or 1,000 years. Hell is forever. And it should not be for you. God is not making for you. He's making for the devil. Don't go there. Don't go there. So right now, I'm not trying to make you afraid. I'm always showing you the truth. Right now, say this prayer of salvation after me and give your life to Christ. My brother, in the book of Romans 10, 9, if you believe in your heart, I wish your mother to confess him as Lord, you will be saved. Say after me, say, Lord Jesus, today I come to you. Be my Lord, be my Savior. I believe that for me, you were buried. On the third day, you rose up again from the dead. Lord Jesus, I'm now yours. God in heaven, thank you for sending your son to die for me. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. If that prayer of salvation was prayed by you, you are now born again. Start going to a Bible teaching church on your own. Buy your Bible for yourself. Read it. No one is in this one. Nobody can deceive you. Stay with us here. Subscribe. Touch the bell right now. Everyone, like this video. I will see you next time. God bless you. If you are following from, if you are watching from Facebook, click on follow. Watching from YouTube, subscribe. I love you. Bye.